Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Cracked Open. Today, I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the Power A Spectra Infinity and the PDP Afterglow Wave. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I made a previous uh, review video, a uh, box opening video about the uh, spec, the Power A Spectra Infinity. And um, as you can see here, if you watch that last video, I figured out how to uh, program the lights and stuff like that. Fairly simple in the back. Basically, it's, you know, a hit of these. There's two buttons here. One to program and one to turn it on and off. So you have a button that says LED, and that's what allows you to turn it on and off like this and then there's another button there that basically allows you to program each individual um section so you can program these buttons here you can program these buttons here and you can program the lights on the outside of the controller there okay so if you were to ever pick this up that information is in the um it's fairly simple to be honest with you um it's in the uh the instruction manual that you get in the box okay guys so today i'm going to be comparing this controller that i've already used to this controller here um the pdp afterglow i'm going to open it up see what's inside and take it from there guys all right so let's see Now, obviously, the reason why I decided to go with the Afterglow in this situation is because they're both um, LED uh, controllers with LED lights and stuff like that, guys. All right. So they have the lights on them. And that's specifically why I decided, you know, the RGB lighting. All right. So that's that's why I decided to go with this one and do a comparison because, I mean, they both look like really cool controllers, guys. You know, like if you look at them, you know, the boxing as well. Let me get the box here. <clears throat> the box for this one as well it's it's a nice box i personally like the power a box itself if i was to see this in the store i would be drawn to it um first but when you look at the pdp um, the actual design of the controller it's kind of hard to resist the curve like the lines and stuff like that for the light so we're gonna op we're gonna just um open it up and and see what's going on in the box guys okay so let me uh pop this open here Alrighty, so there we go. That's the controller right there. All right, guys, I'm going to pop it out. First thing I'm going to do is see how it feels. It's snug. Okay, so immediately off the bat, immediately off the bat, I'm going to be honest with you guys, the Power A, the feel, by far, is, is much better. There is no comparison. Um... Now, are they the best feeling controllers I've ever felt? Either of them? No, they're not. Um, I actually have grips on my other Xbox controller, which is probably ideal, you know, um, for me in any case. But has this be? Are these two the best feeling controllers I've ever felt? No, they're not. But when I'm comparing this PDP controller just off the feel alone, out of the box, compared to the Power A. This has a better feel than this. This is, I this, I, I don't like it immediately. I'll be honest with you. I don't like it. And the actual, the feel of the controller, the weight. Well, let me see. The weight of the controller itself, they're pretty similar. But um, the actual feel of the controller, I, I would go with this one. Is there a big difference? No, there's not. But for some people, that, you know, this might make a big difference to them. So I'm going to go with this one off of feel out of the box. Um, when it comes to the triggers and the buttons, let me see. You know what? I think I like these triggers here on the PDP, I think are a little closer to the original Xbox controller itself. 
Um, these ones here are really clicky. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And when I go with this one here. So I think those are a little a little closer to the original Xbox controller itself. Um, on the back, they actually had, you know, and also too, they got these toggles right here, these extra toggles here, buttons. Um, I kind of like how those are positioned. Um, let's see. Here they have them as well. Uh, mm, interesting. You know, these ones on this one here, they're a lot bigger. More room. So when you're playing, right, and you want to grab onto them, you know, you don't have to really look for them as much. Whereas this one here, you got to look for it. So... In terms of buttons so far, as I go through these, I would say the PDP. The PDP looks like it's, um, it might, you know, might be um, outdoing the Power A a bit. Now, I will say that the Power A does have um, options for you to adjust the um, those triggers and stuff like that. They have that button there, so you can, um, that switch. So the depth of the button, how deep down it goes, but... I never used that yet, so I can't say that it matters too much or not. Um, yeah. All right. So in terms of button place, you know, it's funny because I find these buttons in the back here to be a little awkward in general. Um, yeah, I guess this might be the better bet because they're a little bigger on the PDP. But the truth is, is that your fingers kind of fall right into place on both of them. You don't, you know, I I take that back. You don't really have to go looking for those back buttons at all. Those extra uh, buttons here on the bottom here, guys. Okay. So you have these ones here on both sides. And you have them here as well. You don't have to go looking for them. All right. This one, the buttons are just a little bigger. Okay. So I'm going to plug this one in now. And obviously, when you look at this, I think it's pretty much the same options on the controllers, guys. You know, you have these buttons here, which all have the same functions, if I'm not mistaken. So screenshot, compatibility, um, microphone, um, control, stuff like that. So you can mute and stuff. Here, you can actually uh, volume switch. So it's kind of like a up here. So you can push up, up, down, left to right. And if you push it down, it mutes it, okay? Here, obviously I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like it's a microphone mute on and off button. So we're gonna see about, maybe I'll go into that, but I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna plug it in guys and see what the lighting does. I'm gonna, okay, before I even get into that, with the PDP, what is different between the PDP and the um, Power A that I've noticed um, off the bat is that they have profiles for the um, for the lighting effects. So right here, there's profiles. So they have about one to four profiles. Um, so what I'm assuming is is that you can choose between the profiles, and the lights on the actual controllers will do their thing according to how they're programmed. All right, because on the back here. Unlike the Power A, unlike the Power A, there is no program button. So I'm going to assume right now that you cannot program the lights on the PDP. They come pre-programmed. You just have to pick a profile that you like. All right. So I'm going to plug it in real quick. I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to see what happens. All right, guys, you can get this nice, long controller cord here. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. Bang. All right. There we go. Look at that. All right, guys, so... Sorry about the cords, guys, but it is what it is. So, our first glimpse... You see what this controller is doing right here. It's already starting to um, switch between colors, fade in and out of different colors. All right. Um, 
I don't know how to, let me see if it's easy to adjust these colors here. Let me see. Let me see, guys. Let me see. Can you... You know what, guys? I really want... I wanted to go through this with you guys, but um, I don't... I'm not going to do that. I think that... Let me see. Actually, let me see. Configuration, buttons, analog sticks, audio, triggers, personalized RGB. Can I do this? Is there a way for me to do this? If I hold this, will it do it? No. So, okay, so I just I just captured a screenshot. I pushed the screenshot button, it captured it. Um yeah, guys, unfortunately. I can't really see anything. Oh, okay. I understand. I have to actually scan the uh, the QR code to access the product's quick start guide. So I'm not going to go through that right now. But what I do know from reading the box is that there are different, there are four different profiles for the RGB lights. So if you want to adjust that, you got to obviously after you buy the product, get the QR code to access the quick start guide. And go from there guys okay but i will say this with this with my uh power a it's as simple as holding the led button and then pushing these buttons here and you get all kinds of different options if you've noticed back here the, the light has changed okay if i push it here again it changes if you notice that let me put it up there for you guys so there you go see and it's just as simple as holding the buttons on the back to program it and every time you do that and change and choose a different option, which is pretty simple, it's all in the instructions. It'll um change all of these here. So let me see. Can I? Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. All right, guys. So there you go. You see. And now I change the zone. So I, by pushing this here, I change what I'm going to uh, change the colors of. Bang. So I, I hit the I hit the uh. The D-pad, push these, and it starts changing colors. And it blinks when you're about to switch something. So there you go. So I'm there again, if you can see that. All right? Guys, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say that the Power A um, so far is, is my, my preference. I'm going to have to go with that one out of the box i think the feel of it is better i think the ease of customization is there um i think though just everything about it i enjoy a lot more even the cord itself it's a braided cord versus the uh the plastic or this rubber cord that you get with the pdp i like the braided cord a lot more you know so yeah guys um I'm pretty sure, I think that's all I got for now on, on uh, this one here. If you've tried the PDP or if you've tried the Power A, any version, not just the um the versions with the RGB lights, let me know what you guys think about it, you know? Do you like one over the other? Do you think, oh, by the way, the PDP is actually more money. It's about $10 more when it's not on sale. It's about $10 more when they're not on sale. When they're both regular price, the PDP is more money. All right, so that's something to keep in mind as well, okay? Um, with the PDP, though, I will say you do get a free month of Game Pass for what that's worth, you know, if you're into Game Pass. Some people are, some people aren't, aren't and I can understand that. But, I mean, it's just a month. You know, I think if you're going to use the controller for much more than a month, to be honest with you. So I would go with the uh, the Power A, in my opinion. Um, yeah, guys, that's all I got for now. Let me know what you guys think about these controllers, if you've used them at all. If you haven't used them at all, let me know what you guys think about this review video, this comparison video, 
If there's anything that I can do better, guys, next time, please let me know. Um, if there's anything that I missed out, please let me know. I know that I didn't go through the instruction manuals and stuff like that, but you know, it's not as simple as just opening it up in many cases. Nowadays, a lot of things you got to do online and go through all of that. Sometimes you just don't have the time. There's a lot to be done, you know? So, but if you would like to see me do that next time and you find that to be an important, um, a point to cover, please let me know guys. All right. Um, again, this is a comparison video between the PDP Afterglow Wave and the uh, Power A Spectra Infinity. Thank you guys so much for listening. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, peace.